Here we have the Naomi Classic Chorus and it's in a black enclosure so that doesn't really tell me anything about what it might possibly be but I'm guessing if it's a classic chorus there aren't that many options. There's the there's the Electroharmonics something whatever it's called the Bossy E2 and yeah those are what I would call the, the most classic choruses. The CE2 is namely the, the biggest one but for 17 bucks, I mean, this must be some kind of digital something. But um, I've only tested to see if it works. I haven't really gone through tones. So let's see what this thing sounds like. Alright, so as you can see on the screen, the knobs are set at full depth and just a little bit of speed or rate. So it's a very slow but kind of deep chorus effect. So as you heard, this riff had a very deep but slow chorus, and that's my favorite setting of this pedal, or just chorus in general. So I'm gonna do a couple more riffs that use the same setting, just to kind of show off how nice it sounds in this clean setting with lots of reverb. I think this pedal works really well with this baritone guitar in a B standards tuning so you get these these low low notes but everything just sounds big and wide so I think the chorus does a nice job of that it's like you don't really have to do these cheesy uh, chorus riffs that used to be popular back in the day but you can you can really explore some cool ambient stuff by just you know adding this and then you know a bunch of reverb and maybe even delay as well so I'm going to show you the difference between the wet signal and a dry signal without the chorus. Let's go through the range of the pedal and start by adjusting the, the depth to show you the difference between like a very light chorus to the heaviest chorus. I'm going to up the rate just a little bit so you can hear, hear the, the depth you know, properly. So this would be uh, no depth, which means pretty much, pretty much a clear tone, but it's not. There is something happening. So with the circuit engaged, you can hear. Okay, so let's up the width a little bit and see what happens.
So for me, the way a chorus works is that um, I think that the, the rate and the depth, they kind of work together. So it's not like you would turn the rate down and the depth down and like keep them in, in, in line that way. You would actually put it like the opposite. So like when you turn down the rate, you would turn up the depth. But when you want to make it faster, you turn down the depth just to kind of like smoothen it out. I'll show you why, because if I put it at uh, or width, it's also called depth in many cases. So if I put both at full, you'll hear the what I call obnoxious chorus sound, which may be a cool effect if that is what you're looking for. So it sounds like this. This is the max speed of this pedal. Most other choruses will go faster than this. So it is a bit on the slow side, but it does sound pretty good. So like I said, if you go for a fast one and a lot of depth, you'll hear how, how very pronounced the chorus effect is. But if I turn down the width or depth, you will hear how it just smoothens out the whole thing. You'll still hear the, have the speed, so. Let's go for even less depth. Okay, but if I want to slow down the rate, I would take up the depth because, as you can see, with the depth quite low and the, the rate low as well, there isn't very much happening. So, I'll take up the width a little bit. So here I have a slightly driven amplifier and I'm going to play you a riff that sounds pretty good on its own. But if you add the pedal with not too much width and not too much uh, rate, you will have a different tone, which might be something you're looking for just to give it like a different dimension. So let's see what it sounds like on its own. So yeah, the use of a chorus pedal is, you know, maybe not the most versatile of them all, but it does give, I think, clean tones quite a cool dimension. Um, why I say dimension is because Boss used to make a pedal, it's called Dimension C, which I think is the best chorus out there. And, uh, and it's just a good name because it has four buttons, you just press them in, you have four different dimensions. And I uh, just think that the chorus just does that. It gives you a different tone. It widens everything, makes it a bit more fluid, I guess. So if you're just looking to make a kind of boring clean tone a little bit more interesting, then you can add a little bit of chorus or a lot. I mean, it, just, it depends on what you're looking for. So I think we should do as we've done with the other Naomi pedals. And we should open it up and have a look and see what's inside because this one is classified as a uh, classic course and I wonder what that is based on because um, there's also I believe a analog course which looks the same different color but um, I would assume that the internals are different and maybe it has more speed but it's also very cheap like this one so I'm wondering is it actually analog I'm pretty sure this one's going to be digital, so let's see what's inside. 
Okay, so taking away all the nuts and stuff that holds it together, I'm gonna see what makes this thing tick. I mean, this is such a cheap pedal, it can't be that interesting. And uh, like before, the construction is the same on all these pedals, but it is, it is pretty decent. Um, so the same uh, solder jacks and everything and wait what is this no way it's actually an analog delay uh, chorus not delay it's, an, it's got the MN3207 and 3102 chips this is a fully analog chorus for <laughs> I got it for 17 bucks, and I believe from this, from these chips, I believe it might actually be a, a Boss CE2 Chorus clone. So, goddamn, uh, this is very good value. And, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, um, from this information that I, that I just gathered, um, I would actually recommend getting this one. It just says classic chorus. Yeah, of course, a CE2 is classic, but I just didn't think that they would pull off a, a fully analog with Bucket Brigade bucket brigade chips here. And um, let's see if I can give you a closer look. So like, and it's full of stuff and components. Like there's so much stuff here. That is pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, so I, would actually yeah I would recommend this pedal if you're looking for a chorus go for it definitely um, if you like this video please consider subscribing because I've got more coming soon